I'm Yuki, and today I'll be reviewing episode 15 of Hakuoki, The Distant Visage. So we figure out what Kodo's plan is. One, to be evil. Two, to have furies that can work under the sun. Three, to revive the Yukimura clan. Yay! And he's pretty much done all of those. He's one evil guy. I kind of wonder how he hid it from Chizuru for years that he was evil. Evil. I mean, I don't think you can hide it. And I, I don't know, I wish we got more about Chizuru's backstory about when she was growing up because he's obviously been working on the water of life for a very long time. Chizuru gets to meet her brother for the very first time. Well, I guess a second time, but she didn't know that Kaoru was a boy because when she met him, he was a her and a very pretty her at that. He tells her that, yo, you're my sister and I love you and I've done everything up until this point for you. And Chizuru's like, okay, uh, not a lot of care coming from Chizuru because she didn't even know she had a brother until like five minutes ago. And how can you really feel that much emotion for a sibling that you never knew even existed? I mean, she had a little bit of flashbacks about him, but I mean, she looked to be about three or maybe five, but probably three when her clan was destroyed. And... I can't even remember what I did yesterday half of the time, you know? How is she supposed to remember, really? Basically, Kaoru says, you have to follow me or else. And he says, I'm gonna kill all your comrades and your friends, so you better come with me. And she's like, um, I made a promise to them and I ain't going with you because, yeah, we may be blood, mm-mm-mm, not going with you. So first, him and Kondo start to fight, and what a weak fight! Kondo is supposed to be the commander of the Shinsengumi, and he gets knocked out, pow, in like one hit! Really? Even Shizuru stood up longer than he did, so I don't know what's going on with that. I guess being a commander means you get to sit on your butt and not practice. Shizuru holds her own, but I mean, if Kaoru was actually serious because he's been training his entire life, he should have been able to kill her, Kondo, and everyone else in like... A minute. And so just as he's about to kill Chizuru, and as he's about to stab Chizuru, here comes Soji, and he's all like, it's my battle now, bitch, and starts to fight with him, but of course Soji's like, <laughs> dying, and stops being a fury, because he has tuberculosis and it does not cure that. And then just as he's about to be defeated, and he's going after Chizuru again, here comes Kazuma, stab right through the heartstrings. <laughs> wow, Kazuma. You killed Chizuru's brother, and now you're threatening to go after her father. Do you really think that's a good idea, considering you want this woman to like you? Girls don't like it when you kill our family members. Uh, I guess, you know, you're saving her, but still, we don't like it. She begs Kazuma and says, please, you know, let me deal with my father. I can get him to stop, blah, blah, blah. And Kazuma's like, yeah, I'm still gonna kill him. But I'll humor you and let you try. <laughs> Such a nice guy. So moving on, everything has pretty much calmed down, but Chizuru is pretty upset about the whole ordeal. I mean, her brother died. A brother she didn't even know she had died. So, you know, eh. So Harada being Harada, our favorite. He takes her out for Dongo, and they bring some back from Soji, who is lying, dying in bed. <coughs> Bleh. And Soji's making fun and says, you can never kill a bad weed because Chizuru is so worried about him. And he says, I'm as bad as they come. And she's like, right, right. And everyone starts laughing. He's like, <laughs> Chizuru, you're not supposed to agree with me. Uh. And she's like, oh, uh. Shinpachi and Harada make a tough decision. They decide to leave the Shinsengumi because they don't like the directions it's going and that's not what they signed up for. Basically, they never dreamed of becoming samurai and working under people and being the little peons, and they just don't believe in what Kondo's doing anymore and what they stand for. So it seems like they tried to convince Saito to come with them, but Saito still has things he must do. So Chizuru said a tearful goodbye to them, and ugh, stab in the heartstrings. I really like those two. I mean, it's good that they go off together. Oh, bromance. Love it. Well, I'm Yuki with Yuki's Anime Review, and if you like Hakuoki as much as I do, subscribe to me. Love you. Yuki out.